almost 11 years after I started <laughs> law school, uh, nearly eight years after I finished, I decided to take a bar exam. Um, but circumstances had changed. I was no longer a you know full-time student. Um, I had a job, responsibilities, um, a commute um, that I did not have uh, the first summer after law school. So things had really, really changed. Um, so I quite deliberately chose uh, the least expensive bar exam <laughs> to take as far as sitting fees and you know all those things that come with the bar exam. Um, but I still needed uh, a really good review course. Um, that was the $64,000 dilemma. I did not have thousands and thousands of dollars to spend on uh, a, a course. I could not take a leave of absence for bar exam study. I also couldn't take um, four hours a day to go to a live course, so I needed an at-home study course that was going to suit my needs. Um, thus began my search for a bar review course. Now, I did look at many of Amira Bar's competitors. Um, I saw them first. I was somewhat familiar with many of the names and I was absolutely floored by the expense, the cost of the most popular ones and I totally understood why they did such um, heavy advertising and marketing in my law school. Uh, if you, you know, did not have a payment plan from the beginning to pay for them, I mean, who could really afford that? I, I certainly couldn't. I immediately noticed that the cost was very, very reasonable and they had um, specific materials for my state, which was really, really important to me. Um, so I took a chance on them. Um, in the back of my mind, I was kind of thinking, well, you know, you get what you pay for. If you, if you go for, you know, these ones that don't cost as much, maybe there's a reason they don't cost as much as in they're not as effective. I am proud to say that that was so not true. The materials um, came beautifully packaged. They arrived uh, on time. Um, the uh, tips were excellent. I did avail myself of many of them that were not intuitive, like making the cardstock outlines and writing my own and following along with the lectures. Um, that was great. I would not have thought of that on my own, and it, it proved to be um, really useful to me. Um, the video lectures um, audio lectures were excellent. I found myself just having them on as background um, noise sometimes and things were, were, were seeping in. Um, I actually found myself really understanding property for, for the first time, which is something I never really managed um, <laughs> while I was actually in law school. So that was great. Um, I was thoroughly prepared for the essays um, and the, the state essays and the MPTs. Uh, from the practice questions and model answers, um, I really began to see the most common issues. The start system um, was really useful as well. Um, while I tried my level best to memorize everything, uh, it really was helpful to, to know that I should really focus on specific um, issues because they came up more often in bar exams. So. Well, I sit before you today, I did pass the bar, thanks to Amira Bar. It was the best money I've ever spent. I now um, have bragging rights and the sense of completion, though I still don't intend to practice law, um, I can say that I did it. And I didn't spend a whole fortune of, you know, a mortgage to uh, pass the bar exam. So, there it is. Oh. One more thing, um, um, the time allotment, I, I was very concerned because I was working full time that I wouldn't really have time to study, but the materials are so concise and excellent that it was really very quite manageable um, to study the, you know, the four 
on average four hours a day uh, from the time I received the materials uh, in October until the time I took the exam in February. So it all worked out for me. Thank you, Amira Barr.